Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be taking a look at a short passage called The House by Chris Tovani. And in The House, it's a pretty basic story. It's two boys riding their bikes up to a house. But when we look at the story, we're going to try today to read it for a purpose. We're going to read it once just to get the main idea out of it. We're going to read it a second time thinking through the lens of one point of view and then through the lens of a second point of view. With reading for a purpose, it will give us the opportunity to annotate for different things. So let's take a look at the passage. Now that you have had a chance to look over the story, The House, we're going to read it together. The first time that we read it, our reading purpose will be to try to focus on what we think the main idea of the story is. The House by Chris Tovani. The two boys ran until they came to the driveway. See, I told you today was good for skipping school, said Mark. Mom is never home on Thursday, he added. Tall hedges hid the house from the road, so the pair strolled across the finely landscaped yard. I never knew your place was so big, said Pete. Yeah, but it's nicer now than it used to be, since Dad had the new stone siding put on and added the fireplace. There were three front and back doors, and a side door which led to the garage, which was empty except for three parked on speed bikes. They went in the side door, Mark explaining that it was always open in case his younger sisters came home earlier than their mother. Pete wanted to see the house, so Mark started with the living room. It, like the rest of the downstairs, was newly painted. Mark turned on the stereo, the noise of which worried Pete. Don't worry, the nearest house is a quarter mile away, Mark shouted. Pete Mount felt more comfortable, observing that no houses could be seen in any direction beyond the huge yard. The dining room, with all the china, silver, and cut glass, was no place to play, so the boys moved into the kitchen, where they made sandwiches. Mark said they wouldn't go in the basement, because it had been damp and musty ever since the new plumbing had been installed. This is where my dad keeps his famous paintings and his coin collection, said Mark as they peered into the den. Mark bragged that he could get spending money whenever he needed it, since he'd discovered that his dad kept a lot of money in the desk drawer. There were three upstairs bedrooms. Mark showed Pete his mother's closet, which was filled with furs and a locked box which held her jewels. His sister's room was uninteresting, except for the color TV, which Mark carried to his room. Mark bragged that the bathroom in the hall was his, since one had been added to his sister's room for their use. The big highlight in his room, though, was a leak in the ceiling, where the old roof had finally rotted. And that is the end of the short passage, The House by Chris Tovani. As we look through that, just to kind of gather our thoughts about the main idea, some things you might be considering would be, this is a story about two boys skipping school. That's a pretty basic main idea. Some questions you might have would be, I wonder whether they're going to get caught skipping school or why did they skip school? Because it's such a short passage, we don't know. But what we will do now that we've determined the main idea of two boys skipping school and potentially thinking ahead of whether or not they will get caught skipping school, we will go back and look through the passage a second time, but this time with a new perspective. Our perspective this time will be if we were a realtor. A realtor is somebody who would sell a house. So if you wanted to put your house up for sale and you didn't want to do the work yourself, you hire a realtor. And a realtor would take information about the house and create a listing, probably put it online, maybe hold open houses, uh, write up a little summary of what the house has to offer. So go back through the story now a second time. If you haven't already done so, you want to have this file open on Teams and you want to pause this video after I'm done giving directions and take a minute to go through the story and pick out some of the details that you think would be key items that a realtor would want to use if they were creating a listing to try to sell the house that's being described in the passage. Pause the video now and take a few minutes to look through. 
hopefully some of the details that you found that a realtor might be interested in if they were trying to list the house for sale were similar to mine. Now we're gonna take on another perspective. And this time we're gonna pretend that we are a robber and we are gonna go back through that story again, this time searching for details that might help us set up a heist, a robbery, a little B and E, breaking and entering into this house. You might wanna notice the details that would be important to somebody who is going to be potentially robbing this home. Have fun taking on this new perspective. Pause the video and go back and take a look through the house, this time to find details that a robber might use. Hopefully some of the details that you found that a realtor might be interested in if they were trying to list the house for sale were similar to mine. Now we're gonna take on another perspective. And this time we're gonna pretend that we are a robber and we are gonna go back through that story again, this time searching for details that might help us set up a heist, a robbery, a little B and E, breaking and entering into this house. You might wanna notice the details that would be important to somebody who is going to be potentially robbing this home. Have fun taking on this new perspective. Pause the video and go back and take a look through the house, this time to find details that a robber might use. Now that we've read through this story three times, once for the main idea, once through the perspective of a realtor, and once through the perspective of a robber, I'm curious to know which perspective you found to be the most interesting. Send me a message in the team's chat and let me know what you think.